what is up to this game ten team man gaming I'm gonna be showcasing for you guys the Albany Virgo. I'm pretty sure it's Albany. At least okay, good. I got lucky there. Um I w I didn't remember if it was actually made by Albany. It could have been made by uh DeClassy, which was another possibility, which I thought it might have been, but I guess I made a good guess there. But this is a car in the muscle category that was added with the Ill Gotten Gains part one DLC. Um Unlike in the other videos, I actually sold this car after doing my live stream on the initial release of the DLC, because I didn't really like it, so I just bought it again to do a video for you guys, because I want you guys to see the car for yourselves in a video, in case you did miss the live stream. Uh, so we're going to be customizing it real quick. Um, I'm going to buy a body upgrades too, because just why not? I might just keep it this time to keep it. Actually, no, I'm probably going to sell it, but I'm just going to buy body upgrades because it makes it easier. But um, yeah, this car, I don't really like muscle cars that much, to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure I only own one muscle car, um, because as I said, muscle cars aren't really my favorite, uh, vehicle in the game, so, um, the only one I have is the Saber Turbo, which is a pretty awesome car, actually, um, and I can get over the, uh, what's it called, I can get over the, uh, the, um, fact it's a muscle car, because they generally, in my opinion, don't have as good, uh, handling, you know, we're just gonna go full out, like, everything, like, um, what this is supposed to be. I imagine this being, like, a car that you would see down by, uh, where the gang vehicles spawn. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, like, it, it kind of reminds me of the peyote with the wheel in the back, and then the, uh, manana, how you can put that on the side there. Uh, curb feelers, I mean, why not? We, we did the same thing in the live stream, we just bought everything just to see. Um, I don't really like chrome grill, I'm just gonna leave that how it is. Okay, triple intake. I mean, if you're gonna get a bug catcher, you gotta get triple intake. You gotta go big or go home. Uh, no horn. We don't need that. Uh, lights. Um, you know what? We might we might just keep this thing actually. Um, front, back, and sides, of course. Um, and color. Hmm. We're gonna. I think we're gonna we're gonna. Yeah, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do. Oh no, wait. I have no idea what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put a color on the car, and then I'm gonna see how it looks after. Ooh, hopefully it's night time when I come out of the customs. Um, and if you're wondering why I always, whenever you see me doing a showcase of a vehicle, why I always, uh, choose that, um, uh, that license plate, that's because that license plate is actually the, uh, license plate that's on police vehicles in-game, which is a pretty cool thing that I'm not sure many people know about. Um, I did a video on it a while back, but, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what looks good on this car. Um... Hmm. Normally what I like for muscle rims, I don't actually use for muscle cars because I don't have many of them. Um, I just put it on other vehicles when I want to do what looks like an undercover cop vehicle. We're going to do some black rims there. Uh, yeah, we got to do the custom drag tires. Now we're going to put on a turbo. Transmission. Let's put a race transmission in this bad boy. All right. Respray. Uh, metallic. Ooh, that looks pretty cool, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna... Ooh, I, I kinda wanna do a red to match the, uh, color in the, uh, bug catcher. But what I wanted to do was a yellow. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That is not... Oh, no, wait, that's even orange. That looks like yellow. I don't even care. Alright, now let's see what, uh, kind of, uh, neon kit we want. Um, hmm... We're gonna do... Ooh, orange looks nice. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so this car, it has a lot of possibility if you spend some time with it customizing it. Because, uh, we just, we just, we spent, like, two minutes there, or three minutes. Because I'm just looking at the time on the video, and I'm pretty sure that's how long it was there. And, you know, it can turn out pretty nice. Um, now, as I said before, this isn't really my type of vehicle, but I actually kind of like this now. I mean, if you spend enough time with it... You'll come to like it, even if you don't like it, because this is really nice. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, that I only have a Saber Turbo at the moment. That is a Saber Turbo, if you're wondering. But, um, this car, I really love it, uh, actually, right now. Like, before I came into this hating it, but now I think I'm gonna keep it. I, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. But, um, if you look at the interior, I mean, a lot of muscle cars have this interior, and a lot of sports classics do. I mean, the Sterling GT has it, and then just a different symbol on the, uh, the center of the steering wheel. Um, let's see, you, you just push into that, but, um, that tiny circle, I didn't think that would actually be a, uh, horn, but, um, the, uh, uh, this car has it, obviously, the Saber Turbo has it, like, a bunch of different ones, um, 
Peyote doesn't. That has more of an older looking one, which I mentioned earlier that this kind of reminds me of. Um, yeah, so this car is pretty nice. I do like it. It has some. It has a lot of customization options, which is something that you got to look for when you're looking into buying a car. So you can make it unique, make it your own. Um, yeah, so I really like it uh, now. I mean, I came into this not liking it, as I said earlier. But I, I've started to really like it. I think I'm going to take the curb feelers off. But, um, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts below on this car because, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I want to see what you guys think of it. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have to show you today. Um, if you guys do get it, um, show me, uh, send me, um, uh, uh, go, my, um, I'm not, I can't link it down below because it never works when I do, but if you go to my channel, you'll see my Twitter and Instagram, and either way you want to do it, just send me a picture of yours, but, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video, and if you did enjoy, please leave a like, it helps out more than all, I hope to see you next time.